Hogan's wickets and Labouchan's runs guide Glamorgan to victory. Day four in Bristol would begin as day three had ended. Gloucestershire in the driving seat, Roderick and Bracey at the crease and the match heading towards a draw. Any positive result for either side would be dependent on the home side's ability to back quickly in the first session. They resume on 41 for two with a lead of 67 and Roderick immediately put his foot on the accelerator finding the boundary three times in the first six overs as the home side breezed past 50. That flurry of boundaries would be the extent of his contribution, dismissed by Hogan for 20, caught by Selman at second slip. Bracey would take up the baton of his departed partner, his own score growing with each four scored. It would be his undoing, looking to turn Duthwaite round the corner for another boundary, he was trapped LBW, innings over for 33. With Howell and Taylor fresh to the crease, Glamorgan had an opportunity and would look to take quick wickets in the hope of forcing a result. The Gloucestershire pair though would stay together to take the sides total past 100, Taylor accelerating. He'd go the same way as Bracey though, playing across the line to Lloyd, out LBW for 16. Howell and Higgins though would guide the side through to lunch at 131 for 5, the lead 157. Higgins' stay at the crease would turn out to be brief. He was well caught at first slip for 6 for Hogan's third of the innings. He wouldn't have to wait long for a fourth. Howell, his next victim, clean bowled for 33. Payne would only add one run to the score before he too would fall, caught behind off the bowling of Wag. The innings was over within 17 balls. Shaw slashed Wag straight to Labuchan, a point to leave Gloucestershire nine down, before Delanger had Van Buren caught behind, gone for nine. 161 all out, the target 188. A gettable total for Glamorgan, but a draw still the more likely option with one and a half sessions left in the match. But Selman and Hempfrey would get off to a slow start, just six runs scored off the first four overs. Selman was then out, caught at point by Taylor for six off the bowling of Payne. Labuchan would announce himself with a boundary to take Glamorgan into double figures and he'd take the Gloucestershire bowlers to task, hitting four more boundaries as the side raced from 10 for one to 56 for one in the remaining eight overs before tea. With Glamorgan starting to look like they were in control of the match, another wicket fell. Hemphrey caught by Dent off the bowling of Shaw, out for 15. Unmoved, Labuchan would pick up his half century, taking just 61 balls to get there. He was beginning to look like the key man in the chase. With the target about to tick down into double figures, he'd lose another partner though, Lloyd dragging a tailor delivery onto his off stump, out for eight. Root would stay with Labuchan, and the required total ticked down further. Gloucestershire though would break the partnership when Captain Dent held on to a catch to see Root go for 31. The home side's confidence grew and in the next over, the linchpin Labuchan was gone, edging Payne behind for 82. It was still Glamorgan's to lose though, and Duthwaite would settle nerves with two quick boundaries off Shaw and then Payne. The target dropped into single figures, but Gloucestershire would pick up another wicket, albeit a little too late. Duthwaite out for 14, caught by Van Buren off the bowling of Shaw. Morgan cleared the boundary with his first ball face to leave just one run required for Glamorgan. Wag sealing the victory with a single two balls later, winning the match by four wickets. It was quite an achievement, with a draw looking the most likely result, as Gloucestershire had resumed in the morning. A quite remarkable spell of bowling prevented the home side from putting on the kind of score they'd hoped for and instead turned the tables, putting the pressure on the home team. Hogan's four for 22, the standout performance. In Labuchan, Glamorgan had a player who rose to the challenge of the chase. His innings of 82 featured 10 fours and broke the back of that run chase. Gloucestershire will have no complaints. They'd let their foot off the accelerator on the final day and on the balance of play, they deserved their first defeat of the season. <laughs>